Well, today I'm gonna work on replacing the trip lever for the drain in a bathtub. Um, if you're interested, stick around. So the reason I have to fix my tub drain is because it's, uh, I think the house was built in 95, so it's about 25 years old. Um, I went to use it and as you can tell, it just snapped right off in my hand. So um, in order to get to the rest of the linkage, um, there's two screws um, that hold the trim lever on. You just undo those and take it out so then how the bathtub stops the water is it's got this linkage in here if i can get it out hopefully i can get it out not a very good informative show okay so you see how this comes out it just comes out Boop. and then i'll show you in a second and that's what actually closes the water off the uh, the tube goes down out of the tub and then back to the drain and this slides down the tube all the way and it holds it flat and it doesn't allow water out so um, in order to fix this you have to um, replace the whole front cover not just the latch so it's got a cotter pin which I will remove and then you just attach it to the new the new uh, cover. Now the cover I went and got was straight from Lowe's and uh, it was I think ten dollars somewhere in there but anyways um, they had selections of different finishes I have a chrome so I got a chrome one um, I'm sure you can find them somewhere else online cheaper or more in tune with what you really want but I wanted to get this fixed so and it's Sunday and it's time to fix stuff so let's get on with it so you need a screwdriver to take the cover plate off and then you need some pliers to take the cotter pin out and then we will continue on down this road so one minute please so hopefully this is in focus um, so you take the cotter pin out, simply, please focus, and you just squeeze it together to get the cotter pin out, and then you can grab onto it if it's, <laughs> just squeeze that closed. And get it small enough so that it'll pass through the hole and then it should come right out but and I think the kit comes with a new one so there you go you take that out and then the remainder of the lever fell out so this is what it looks like um, prior to installation and this is what the lever should look like on the back um, if it wasn't broken so as you can see it's a very simple setup it's just uh, you know that's unfortunate but it broke so let's go from there the hardware comes with a new cotter pin so um, it's nice and easy to get through the hole um, make sure I put it in the right direction and just start it through there and there you go so it's through there and then use your pliers to uh, bend this so that it stays on damn trifocals Gotta get the right, there we go. So you just bend it up, that way it stays on. And that's in the open position, down, and then when you wanna close it, it goes up, and that pushes it down. So, 
So there we go. So now you just thread this puppy back down through there. So I'm gonna pause this and uh, bend that cotter pin a little bit more. All right, so I have it back in. Um, and the hardware with the lever comes with two brand new screws. There's this hole and there's a hole. So those are where the two holes are. Um, so you put the, the plate back up there and screw it in. So I'll do that and uh, you know, it's pretty simple. So, um, I reused the screws actually. My other camera actually died, the battery died, so I had to switch. So, um, hopefully everything got there. I'll end up reshooting it, but, uh, so there you go. That's how easy it was. It's a $10 fix. And, uh, you know, you saw how hard it was. Simple, everyday tools, and it's fixed, and you're good to go from then on. So... There you go.